So you put your pen down and the exam is over. 12 weeks later, you get your results. But what happens in between? This is how OCR marks and grades GCSE and A-level exams. First, let's look at how we mark. After your paper is collected at the end of the exam, it's sent back to OCR. We scan your paper so it can be marked by examiners on a computer screen. 90% of the examiners who mark OCR exam papers are teachers or ex-teachers. It's really important that they all mark to the same standard, that is, that they mark according to the mark scheme. How do we make this happen? A few days after you sit your exam, a team of our experienced senior examiners get together. They all mark a sample set of answer papers and agree the marks, using the mark scheme to guide them. These papers, marked by the senior team, set the standard for all other examiners. Every examiner around the country then practices by marking the same papers as the senior team to make sure their marking is in line. They then mark another set of papers as a test. When our examiners have passed these checks, they're ready to download their first batch of real papers and marking begins. We make sure that they're marking to the same standard on day 30 as on day 1 by randomly dropping in papers that a senior examiner has already marked so we can check that they're still marking accurately. And because examiners mark your answer paper on screen, we can spot changes in standards. If one examiner isn't able to mark to the right standard, they're asked to stop, and their papers will be marked by another examiner. So your answer paper has been marked, but this isn't your final result. Here's how OCR turns these marks into your GCSE and A-level grades. OCR senior examiners set grade boundaries. These are minimum marks you need to achieve an A star to E grade at A-level or a 9 to 1 grade at GCSE. We look at previous papers where available and use statistics and expert judgment to agree the minimum mark. We set boundaries in the right place so that a student does not get a lower grade just because they sat a more difficult paper one year. We try to make papers the same level of difficulty every year, but they can vary slightly when a new GCSE or A-level is introduced for the first time, for example. Once the grade boundaries for your exam have been agreed, we apply them to your marks to produce your final grade. And about 12 weeks after you have finished your exam, your result is on its way back to your school or college. Hey.